In today's video, you get to see my junior youth group and the children's class. It happens in Woodland, California. A lot of these uh, junior youths cannot make it today because they're fasting. It's usually like around 10. We keep going. Children's were all there because they don't fast, obviously. Also, a lot of the team members weren't available. My friend Hassan, Jasmine, and Justin. So it's just me and Tarna. She's doing the children's class. I'm doing the junior youth group. So I, go, I hope you like it. In this video, I'm gonna show you what a junior youth group looks like and what a children's class looks like conducted in a neighborhood you guys have heard about from my previous videos. It has to do with a grassroots development where the individuals from within the neighborhood and communities are rising to serve and they have the capacity, they have the potentialities. All we, all we have to do together is uh, accompaniment and serving alongside one another, helping each other uh, develop potentials like you know the potentials that we have like the desire to change we all have a sense of justice we, we all have a pretty good idea of what is right and what is wrong these things become clarified when communities come together and talk to amongst each other and sort of uh, plan together consult together and you know a lot of these things become very clarified uh, these junior youth groups at the heart of what the purpose of this group is and what the children's class is uh, is to develop the kind of qualities and spiritual uh, virtues that enables us to be of service to humanity and like in a junior youth group there's a lot of amazing conversation a lot of it is aligned with exploring reality exploring spiritual reality the physical reality and the social reality and we also do study and art we do a lot of these things okay so I, I arrived just now I, I'm parking I'm gonna get out go over there now I have no idea where common ground is that's where I'm meeting with Tarane Where's common ground? Right here on the corner. Oh, okay, thank you. Chairs. Found it. Want to go with one car? Sure. What are you going to do with the children's class today? What did you plan? So, since last week we did an art project on, on love, I noticed that the reality of our class is a little bit different than before. I mean other classes, so they, they need like visual um, objects, I guess, for them to understand concepts. That's cool. Something like that. Not too much. What are you gonna do? I'm doing breezes of confirmation. So we're gonna do the second lesson where Rose comes. Uh, she's you know she's traveling uh -huh. to, to see uh, Rose and what was her name? Masunda. Masunda? Yes. Oh. Rose and Masunda. I that's hope right. That's right. <laughs> I hope so too. I gotta fix that. Wow, you're not very prepared. Are I'm you? not. I'm not. Okay. So Rose is coming, and uh, there's a story in the bus where she. Uh, she sees this little kid is very hungry mm -hmm. and she, he doesn't have any food and she's also hungry Rose yeah so she grabs her sandwich and then decides to give it to the little kid why would she do that why would she give all her food when she's hungry herself to a little boy I wonder what she I wonder what the junior youth will talk about what they're gonna say yep yeah Ahmed can you hold Ahmed yes I can hold Ahmed's they, they found all the woods here. Explain it, Abdullah. What uh, did we do? We, we, we got sticks and, and we got these and rocks and leaves. Wait, what, what, what is this about? 
about nature. You know about nature. Love. Nature. Nature. Uh, and nature. And nature. It's pretty cool. Who got we those flowers? We glued them together. Now, during prayers, it's quiet time. You can't say bad words to a god. Yeah, you say nice things. I was so, so scared because the police was going by and they're like hiding all of their stuff like weed and stuff like in the back of our truck. So these are problems in the community that we can change. How can we change it? How can we change these problems? Getting guards. Guards? Guards. You want a guard? A yeah. guard would change the world? No. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? So then if a guard can't change the world, well who can? We. You. Why? Why? Why aren't, if, if we if we can change, why aren't we doing it? Because we're not trying. Learn about ways that we could uh, change our community. Anyway, so the first one it says um, meeting Rose at the bus. Oh, before we go there, what was the first lesson? Yeah. The so what was it about? It was it short. Was, it was really short. It was all about Masunda. So yeah. It was a song about well, her ages and she loves her siblings and she, the last thing that we learned was that she loves to share her thoughts with her cousin Rose. And her cousin is coming over. And her cousin is coming over. That's the whole thing. And was there anything in the exercises that stood out? Like any any question? Yeah, like, like the number, last one. Like number 10? Yeah, this one. Number 10. What, what about number 10 that was uh, it's interesting? I was telling us how good thoughts help us do good things. Because if you think good, then you want to do good. Do you know what the word reality means? Reality. Yeah. 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 Well, the truth. The reality, truth. truth, yeah. Do you think the reality of he every human being is their thoughts? Yeah. Like, like your reality is what you think and your reality is what you think or how you think. My reality is how I think and you too. So our reality is what we are thinking. Like what we think can happen. Like what we think can become real. That's what I mean. So it's important that we ask ourselves, what am I thinking, you know? If more and more people knew that good thoughts lead to good action, then more people would be more responsible, you know? Can you explain to him what happened because he wasn't here? Rose was like traveling to Bumi by the bus and then they, um, when they finally got there, Masunda and um, Rose just met. They ran to each other and hugged for a long time. So what did Rose say to Mrs. Malinga? Hey Rose, I can smell the chicken cooking. I did not eat on the bus. A little boy and his mother were sitting next to me. After a while, the boy started asking me for something to eat. I had some bread and I gave it to his mother when I saw that she did not have any food with her. Somebody explain, what are we uh, doing? Uh, we're trying, we're making the heart and then we have to write or draw the things that we love. Oh, so it's a heart you're gonna draw things that you love. I already wrote That's it. That's great. Yeah, so we're just starting it right now. Right. Um, each person grab- Good luck guys. Let your heart burn with loving kindness for all who may cross your path. Let your heart burn with loving kindness for all who may cross your path. What should your heart do? Burn. <laughs> <laughs> to whom should we show loving kindness to? Whoever crosses your, your path. path. Yes, you guys are gonna be on my channel. <laughs> hey guys, let your heart burn with love. What's up, bro? What's up, dude? How you been, dude? Good. So, uh, I was really.